Let's take a moment to slow down. Whatever happened this year, I am thankful for where it brought me. Where I am is where I'm meant to be. So what the heck happened in 2022? No, 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 not the bad times. I mean, what happened this year on the Harry production page? Let's rewind for a second. Whoa, let's talk about that. Starting off in February, on the 5th I shared on Instagram and TikTok an important message about how mental health for men is treated in society and it received across both platforms over 3,000 people that watched it. Now that's insane. A week later on the 16th, I decided to change things up and upload on YouTube my first ever cinematic trailer of my own interpretation of what a spy universe would look like. A few days later on the 21st, I took you all on a small behind the scenes look of how my friend and I made it together using only just a camera, a tripod and a few props. Then near the end of February on the 26th, I decided to make a small horror segment and you guessed it, a teaser trailer of my first ever horror short film. And to my surprise, it gained over 2,500 views on YouTube Shorts. Now that's something to celebrate. Now jumping into March. Next, I uploaded on the 5th my official horror short film trailer on all three platforms. Then several hours later, I couldn't wait any longer, so I then on the same day premiered my first ever short film called The Dark Hour on YouTube, which surprisingly received positive reviews and reactions, although the acting could have been better on my end. <laughs> but still to this day, I'm proud of the cinematography and direction of the story I achieved. After all, just that six minute short film alone took me a whole week to make. Moving on the 10th of March, I shared on all platforms another inspirational message with visuals that I couldn't think I could ever pull off, called Focus on the Present. And at the time, Euphoria Season 2 was trending and coming to HBO streaming services in April, so I wanted to recreate similar visuals from the show and use its trending sound. And what do you know, it gained more attention with 800 views on YouTube Shorts. Coming in at May, now I know I skipped April, but there was nothing really interesting that happened. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. On the 12th, I uploaded on Instagram and TikTok a small trailer that initially was going to be a short film, but I decided to make it a quick trailer instead, about another topic of mental health, called The 100 Steps. Then, on the 20th, was a special birthday video dedicated to my cute little pet dog, Chloe. She has grown up too far. Chloe has helped me over the years in bringing me joy whenever I'm feeling low, so I didn't miss the opportunity on the day to upload and express my gratitude to celebrate her 11th birthday. Then, we hit June. On the 10th, I uploaded on YouTube another horror short film called Christmas Hollow. I made it alongside my uni mate and it was for a uni assignment and of course we aced it. But to our surprise we nearly gained 500 views on that film. Shout out to Liam. Then halfway through the year a new style of videos had begun. I started to experiment with visuals and cinematography more. I even started to tell stories to the images and I saw trends, music and sounds all become my source of inspiration to bring my videos to life. As I kept going with consistent weekly uploads, everything really started to take off. Like, I really mean take off. I uploaded on August the 28th a short video called A Moment in Time, and it gained over 4,000 views in total on Instagram. I couldn't believe it. Then we arrived in September. I uploaded on the 4th on all platforms about a car crash that was just a dream. Then it shocked me again, and it gained 11,000 views on Instagram. Holy sh I instantly knew that I was not only creating with passion but evoking people's emotions. And you all really started to like what I was sharing. So I kept going. Then around the corner, we hit October. I then decided to ask you all to take a quiz on Instagram of what you want to see in the next coming weeks. And most of you voted for Halloween videos. And so the Halloween trends and videos began.
Then comes November and December. Here is some honorable mentions. I not only shared my art with the world across various platforms, but I'm in awe with how quickly everything has grown this year. I wouldn't have been able to achieve this without the positive reactions from all the 65,000 who viewed my videos this year alone. So thank you. I honestly wouldn't have been creating videos if it wasn't for all of you sharing and giving the love and the support throughout this whole year. So I commend you all and to the 400 new people across all my platforms that joined this year. I appreciate you all for staying with me through this journey, but it's not the numbers that mattered this year. It's the fact that I have and will always enjoy creating videos with passion and in some way or another made you inspired, captivated you, evoked an emotion from within you that you never thought existed. So thank you to everyone from the bottom of my heart. What a year this has been filled with growth, achievements, milestones, inspiration, and importantly, entertainment. Cheers to 2022. See you with more videos to come in the new year.